I hear snakes. Where are the snakes? Gods, don't there. Don't let there be. Righty, um, click and die. Um, bird on dragon thing, dagger on dragon thing, just regular click. Okay, I thought that was going to eat us. Spendius mingles with the senators present in the Temple of Moloch. Hamilcar recounts the failure of his mission to his peers. A chorus of indignant protests greets his account. We must rid ourselves of this mercenary riffraff. The money they are owed, let's melt it in their mouths in the form of lead ingots. Despite the prudency advocated by Hamilcar, the furious senators immediately vote for war. The session is over. The room empties, and Spendius is left alone, hidden in the shadows of a pillar. Avoiding the main door, the adventurer takes a partially hidden exit that opens up onto a deep staircase. A terrible noise is heard. A mechanism has been activated, and a grill has just fallen behind Spendius, cutting off his retreat. In front of him is a corridor where a mournful echo can be heard. The Zaimph seems to be very far away. Well, bugger. These people and their one-way doors. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> Nope, that's not what I want. Nope, undo. Undo. Whatever it is, undo. Um, shit. Is this one of those memory games? It's not quite. It is. It's a sound memory game. Okay, this might take a moment. That's gonna sound so horrific when I speed that up. <laughs> oh, torturing my uh, torturing my viewers with loud sped up noises. Well, sucks to be you. Damn. Okay, Nick, your keys. And Nick, a tinderbox. I know these are Carthaginian symbols, but let's see what all we've got. A hammer! A sink? Bingo. I might have to write this down here just a moment. Okay, so as a summary, and yes, this is a little bit cheatsy because, yes, once again, walkthrough, although I saw this on the walkthrough a long time ago. Some of these symbols you might recognize as being from Hannon's tattoo. I believe that's our code for getting, for getting the heck out of here. 
That was a priestess who got skewered. Okay, so... Thankfully, I know my... Uh, thankfully, I know my Roman numerals. So... Number one... Okay, so... Yeah. Oh, nope. I have half a feeling that if we get fuck this up, we're gonna get skewered ourselves. If we step away and then step back, do is it reset? No. Uh -huh -huh. I haven't played the new game. It st um, st keep talking and nobody explodes. But I'm wondering if this is the feeling that we get from this. Oh, okay, that's something. Okay, so we lit a fire. Okay, um, not the glue. Bird? Nope, not the bird. Am I overthinking this again? I'm over, under, over, over, under thinking it, maybe. Okay, I think I might have it, although I think they screwed up their Roman numerals on that decryptor page back there. Okay, so... If I'm right, this is 1 and this is 9. And the code on Hannibal's shoulder was... Let's see here. 3... 1... 2... 4. So... One, two, three. Then one. Then two. And four. Dang it, Carthaginian apparently... In this realm, I don't know if this is true in reality. Apparently reads from the bottom up. So that would actually make it four. Two, three. Nope. Screwed this up. Okay. Four. Two. One. Three. Bingo! Why does there look like there are bugs staring at me out of the walls? What the hell are these? Oh, they're... Treasure. I have a feeling that we don't actually want to pick these up. Doomsday senses are tingling. Majorly. Well, I guess it's time to click and die. Find out what happens here. Oh, hold it. There's a scroll. Why can't I... Oh, whoa, hello. Okay. I got it. Papyrus and a map, which I completely missed. Uh, let's put the vase back. Can I not get a second look at that? Is it in the logbook? It's not in the logbook. Oh! I did something! I'm not going to argue with progress. Unless this is the click here and die progress. Oh, okay. Um, I'm a doofus. Okay. Stand on this side. We stand on that side. Okay, now we hurry. I said we hurry. We stand on here and light that. <laughs> P 
put the candle back. Alrighty, as I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue with progress. And we hit. Oh, I thought we hit a brick wall. Nope. Is this the way we came? This is not the way we came. Um, keys. I don't want to go outside yet. Okay, no, this is the way we came. Then we go straight. Oh, this is an improvement. Let's see. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like a bird perch. That doesn't look like a bird, though. <laughs> okay, so so far in this game, we've got Moloch, which is like corn. We've got... What the heck was that goddess's name again? Tanith, which is like Slanesh. Now we've got Zinch here. <laughs> Thanks, Zinch. Um, can you call him back? Thanks. Wait, hold it. <laughs> Glue on bird. <laughs> that was it. Glue on bird. <laughs> so we've got the bicephalous bird, and I would have to say, with that little bit of wackiness there, by winning. I suppose. Nice loving relationship, that. Uh, I think there's supposed to be a voice there. Wait, hold it. I think we forgot something. Because I remember... Okay, yeah, I remember in the poem there was about the flowers. Okay, so night flower, forgetting flower, dream flower. Okay, 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 okay. I have a feeling we're about to make a gas attack on somebody here. On an unsuspecting somebody who probably should wear more layers. Oh, hey, finally, we don't actually have, like, um... <laughs> we don't actually have seizures-inducing stuff as much, except I've still got this. Ah! It's the ending of Solitaire. Ah! Okay. Sorry, there was, there was actually something I meant to take a look back at. No. Last page. Okay, so just three inducing flowers. Okay. Night flower? Maybe. A dream flower, maybe. Forgetting flower? Which one? One of the... Uh, these are supposed to go in the fire. I know they're supposed to go in the fire. May the crescent of Tanit light your way, Senator. So, you've come to find peace in the gardens of the goddess? It's a wonderful night for appreciating the smells and the play of shadows. Yeah, what was... Well, what were you not singing earlier? It's a hymn to the goddess Tanith, 
A very old song written at a time when the moon had barely emerged from the primordial waters. Why do you sound like a chipmunk? I would like to, but my duty to the goddess requires that I stay here. No, <laughs> oh no, Lord, that would not do. You may be lucky enough to come upon her in the gardens, but I doubt it. Salambo rarely leaves her private rooms, except when she goes to the Saint of Saints to carry out the rites. Alrighty. Good night. Oh yeah, we're probably not going to be allowed. Crescent of ten. Okay, yeah, we're not going to be, um... Now will it let us... Come on, throw it in the fire. I know it doesn't look like a fire, but that's a fire. Or are we supposed to, like, put it in a bottle first? Or are we missing something again? Roast the bird. Roast the bird. I'm assuming we've got to do something with the bird. Drown the bird. Give bird to, uh, bird to monkeys. Feed bird to dragon. Or go around in a circle, we can always do that. Ah, this is new. Okay. Okay. This makes much more sense. Okay. And then... You got a bag? Oh, a mask. And a club. Not a club. But, yeah. Okay, so back by the by winning birds. By cephalous birds, by sexual birds, two headed birds. Okay, so before we go in, mask. We're Ninja Senator Spendius. Now throw the powder in there. Spendius used sleep powder. It was super effective. Do we still have the mask on? Yeah, we still got the mask on. Ninja Spendius. Alrighty then. These Carthaginians love their round <laughs> snakes. Not going that way. Maybe we have to go that way. Um, shit. Can we walk this way past the snake? We can, okay. And on. That's a big snake. Obviously, we've got to put something in that. Oh. We've got stuff. Only one of it is takeable. What is this? Fruit, huh? Hey, Snakey, you want some fruit? No? Oh, there it goes. Okay. I don't know if the bird's trying to... Oh, I think I know why we're not hearing the songs. <laughs> it's because I turned the music off to avoid copyright strikes. Uh... Now to turn off the force field. Click here and die. Oh, I'm done. Very dumb. They were right here. Okay, so. 
Thin and bent like a galley with no mast. Ah, snake. Ah, seizures. Then glides over a black sea. Sea. Sometimes shiny and round, which is the moon. Skims the peaks of mountains. Like a shepherd amongst the stars. Maybe I fucked this up. Oh no, galley. Hold it, galley. I think I screwed this up. This whole order thing is getting confusing because it's like left to right, right to left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right. Ugh. Finally! Jeez, even with a walk through, that's obtuse. Alrighty, nobody around? Nobody around? Let's nick the magic blankie. Piss! Get out of here. Get out of here. There was that secret door back this way. Somewhere. Come on. Door. Door. I saw you. Spendius. You dared take the Zaev? Did we meet? Curse on you for stealing from Tanith. Hate and revenge. Oh, okay. Sorry. I didn't recognize you without the crazy headdress. Wait, what is this first line? If I've stolen this, it has only proved to you I'm audacious and to win you over. Are you trying to pull a move, Spendius? No, let's do the math outline. There was no need to insult the goddess to deliver this message. Give me the veil, Spendius. Give it to me. Keep going on the math route. Massacre and pain. Will my marriage be celebrated on the ruins of my birthplace? Um, want an apple? Sorry, toodles. Nope, are not gonna be let. Fuck. Bring down the thief! Holy shit! <laughs> For a moment, I thought we were going to be like porcupine here. Okay. There okay, was math no line. Give it. Please come down. Blessed be the. Bring down the thief. Nope, we still die. Blessed be the goddess. The veil. Nope, we still die. Bring down the thief. Give it back to her, we Bring down the thief. Bring down the thief. Okay, so if we just look it. Bring down the thief. Okay, let's do there this again. Massacre. And now that we're wearing it, hey, don't you dare throw javelins at me this time, otherwise I've got your blanket hostage. By the goddess! The thief has draped himself in the Zaim! Hold back your weapons! Okay. <laughs> Here, distraction. The thief leaves the temple under the protection of the veil. Petrified, Ooh. the guards let him pass. 
No one dares stop him for fear of damaging the Zaimf. Spendius leaves the sacred precinct atop an elephant that he has commandeered. He has a moment of fright when a pig falls between the legs of his mount. The elephant panics and begins to shy away, but its rider is able, luckily, to calm it. Stupefied passers-by see Spendius leaving through the city doors. He moves further away, taking Carthage's luck with him. The mercenaries greet him triumphantly. His having obtained the Zaimf erased their last doubts. Now, everyone wishes to go to war. The chiefs call a meeting to draw up a battle plan. And it's probably going to have to stop there for now, because I spent a long time. But that must have, that would actually probably would have been an awesome image, seeing a guy atop a war elephant charging out of the city gates with a massive glowing cape. Oh, so metal. Anyway, so that's enough for now. I will see you guys in the next video. Next video set, rather, because this is probably the end of number two. The end of the second video, I mean. Uh, yes, let's override. So I will see you guys in the next, in the next set.